Hi! Well, as a Irish human and being in a secondary school, we are given the opportunity of doing fourth year. I don't know how to explain a year. Basically, you get to do th fun things instead of schoolwork all year, but they do say that it's not a dossier, um, so school is still a thing but something I was very excited for about fourth year was work experience I didn't really want to go to super value and stock shelves no offense to shelf stockers you're doing great sweetie and I also didn't want to go to the local deli in case someone screamed at me because I put too much butter on our sandwich I just wasn't in the mood for actual controversy so I decided to take it upon myself to try find somewhere that I would one enjoy doing two actually be comfortable in my surroundings as somebody who has anxiety being somewhere with people that I don't know literally scares the hell out of me but you know, you have to push yourself sometimes. So I decided that a good place to go would be a barber shop. And why not go to the best barber shop that I know, which is the one and only GKB. This place is an actual godsend, I'm not even kidding. The workers are incredible. Like who doesn't want to be in a place where it's a friendly environment and a work environment and everything just seems so peaceful. I basically went in and said, I have work experience in the next couple of weeks. Can I do it with you? And the head himself, Glenn, <coughs> and what a hero he is said yes. I was really excited to be honest. I absolutely love the shop. I go there to get my hair done. It's a nice trek down but you know it's worth it. So I was doing my work experience with Glenn in his barber shop. I expected just the minimal, basically going in, sweeping the floors, maybe taking people's money and giving them their change, basic things, nothing really important and I certainly was not expecting to cut hair, which thankfully I didn't because I think I would have actually fucked up a tire person's life. But little did I know that when I went down I would be greeted to the most incredible jobs I could have hoped for. Personally, I am somebody who is quite obsessed with cleaning. I love to clean, I love organisation. There is nothing more that I enjoy than cleaning. Well, that's kind of a lie because I do quite love YouTube and I also love singing and playing guitar and I love watching YouTube videos and I do like speaking Irish. Okay, so I'm going on a tangent, but you know what I mean. I do enjoy cleaning. So I went down and I basically was like, oh, I like organisation and stuff so I can organise some things for you or clean some stuff. Let's just say he's a not a morning person. No, 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 he's nice, don't worry. I said that and he basically said, all right, do what you want, clean whatever you want. I uh, took it upon myself to clean the boys' stations. So there are three barbers down there, Glenn, Brian, and Bobby. Three of them, which are incredible lads, might I add, because they are true heroes. I emptied their stations, and then when I asked him what I would clean it with, he basically told me to get water and just clean it with water. Um, I felt a sting, the pain of not disinfecting the area. So I took it upon myself and the next day I went down and I brought my own of cleaning products. I bought Glenn a whole bunch of stuff to put in his shop just so he could focus on the cleaning because I just could not handle cleaning a mirror with just water. When I said possible, it's the most stereotypical boy thing that I've ever seen. I went into the bathroom and the bathroom was what I wanted to focus on. When I saw it, I knew I couldn't leave it like that. The bathroom was um, not in the best condition, let's just say. Basically, quite dusty quite mouldy if I'm honest with you. It's one of the toilets where you'd hover, you know? I went in and I took it upon myself to clean the whole place and I just scrubbed the whole thing out. And then came in and said, wow, you're actually doing a good job. Maybe we should do some other things to it. And I said, yeah, whatever, what you want. And then he suggested me renovating the bathroom. So I was like, yes, King, I am all up for that. He t literally was just like, okay, we're gonna go painting. We're gonna paint the bathroom. Is that okay? And I was like, yeah. We went up and bought the paint in the space of five minutes and he let me pick the color, which honestly, I am so thankful for. They kept saying, this is your space. And all I could think about was that vine. Dude, what the fuck? This is your space. This is your area. She can't do that, dude. So I cleaned the rest of the bathroom and then I said, all right, lads, I'm off. Then tomorrow, which was Yesterday was the day that I started painting. I went in, I set up my station, I was in my painting clothes, I was ready to go. Then I had some existential crisis talk. What if they hate it? What if I break one of the shelves? What if I spilled a can of paint all over the floor? Realistically, that wasn't gonna happen. This bathroom is so small, but so tall. Uh, me, I am what? Five foot five, maybe? Am I that tall? Five foot five, I'd say, maybe, possibly, I don't know. This bathroom was taller than me, taller than Glenn, and Glenn is tall. I decided to do a time lapse of me painting the bathroom because I just thought it would be fun, to be honest, and it was. My phone died like eight billion times, so I just kept having to run out to the shop, plug in my phone, and then run back and then carry on. Kind of sad because cause when I was doing the time lapse, I could listen to Hamilton and also pain. But when I had no phone, I was sitting in silence. But luckily, the walls are so thin that I could hear the lads chatting out front with all the people, and I could hear them talking about how there's a 16 year old girl trapped in a bathroom painting right now. She scared the shit out of one guy because he thought they were kidding when they really weren't, and I just appeared, and he, and he literally freaked the fuck out. It was funny. Then Glenn came in and said that somebody needed to use the bathroom, which obviously I replied. 
replied, yeah, that's okay, and I left. And I never realized that I didn't pause the time lapse. So this man went into the bathroom, peed, and left. And then Glenn said, hold on, went into the bathroom, came back out and said, Katie, and I said, yeah. And he said, you know, you left the time lapse running. And I said, huh? Then he went out to the shop and outed me to everybody. And I sounded like a fucking weird bitch. But really, it wasn't my fault. So obviously I stopped the time lapse and I delete that shit because I'm like, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Then when I finished the room and left, I was looking back at the footage that I had gotten and I realized that the guy found the camera. So this guy stares at the camera with such an intense, what the ah. fuck? face. He then leans in and presses pause on it and I'm scared to touch the footage that I've deleted but I'm going to because if I got it right then that means he turned off the video, played it again before he left, it would have caught Glenn's reaction of seeing the time lapse still on and I'm ready to see that. So I'll put that in here if I got that. So what I did was I painted the bathroom a nice dark grey. I really like it. I thought it suits the bathroom really well. I don't know. I think it's cute. I like it. And I also just did some bits around the shop. I just kind of brushed up the hair. I was just kind of chatting with the lads. It was nice. It was fun. It was really good for my mental health, honestly. I felt so much better after being there for the week. It was great and I actually had the best ever role in my life and honestly I'll miss her. I can genuinely say that was one of the best weeks of my life and I know that's such kind of like a sad thing to say because what I did was I was trapped in a tiny room painting by myself. Okay now I'm starting to question my own existence. No but really it was actually really fun. I feel like personally Glenn is a bit of a brother figure which is kind of a cringy thing to say realistically so hi Glenn. He's probably not watching this. Actually I'll probably send it to him so he can see it and Brian and Bobby are Honestly, I would consider them friends. They probably think I'm annoying ass little shit, but like, honestly, who doesn't? I had a great week. Don't know about them. I mean, they probably hated it, let's be real. I'm actually really happy about it, and I had such a good time, and definitely this week of work experience, 100% without a doubt, 10 out of 10. I really liked it. Bit worried about my next week of work experience, which is in like a month or something, because that is in a courthouse. Ben's Barbershop is literally just a place where you can go chill. Uh, now I'm gonna be going to a courthouse where I'm gonna have to dress fancy. Shit, why did I not think about this? Anyway, um, that's the end of this video. I really enjoyed my week of work experience and if you're doing fourth year and you're doing work experience slash have done your work experience, I hope it went well. If you did, then tell me in the comments what you did and how you liked it because I am actually interested. I really did enjoy it and I had such an amazing time. So Glenn, if you're watching this, thank you so much for having me and the lads, thank you for dealing with me for the couple of days. I really appreciated it and I had an incredible time. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, moral of the story is uh, maybe I want to be a barber. Maybe I don't. But I will say I had a lot of fun being there, being in their company and watching them cut hair was actually very interesting and I just kind of had some glances while I was sweeping the floor. It was a good week and I'm going to miss them. Honestly, I'm going to miss it. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed, uh, you can like, comment and you can subscribe to my channel. I post uh, basically every week. I post every Sunday, except for last week because I took a little bit of a break. But we won't talk about that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!